video I've decided to do a vlog. I'm going to Hail Mary for the day. I say the day, it's the afternoon now. So we're going to see how many bookshops we can go into. If you've never been to Hail Mary before, it's a little village in Wales, but it's like on the border to England. And basically it's got like, I think maybe the most bookshops in the UK. I'm not really sure. There's like 30 odd bookshops. Is the place where the Hail Mary Festival is held, although that's been held like virtually the last two years because of Covid. Decided to come and see if I can find any Stephen King books, see if we can make up some bargains. It's one of my favourite places so I thought I'd bring you along with me. I hope you enjoy this vlog.
enjoyed that little sort of montage of hey and why it was so lovely to be back managed to go to all the bookshops that i wanted to go to i was really surprised because there wasn't as many stephen king books that i thought there was going to be to be honest i did go with the intention of looking for as many stephen king books as possible just to see if they did have any hoarders or you know some like older editions hardbacks i was looking for the bachman books um, obviously that's published under Richard Bachman but didn't manage to find any but yeah I came away with two books which I think that's pretty good for me so I'm not gonna complain of that but I'll show you the books that I got because the two books that I got I'm super excited about the one that was on my list to get this month anyway and then the other book is one that I've been fancying for so long but I just haven't got around to buy in. I don't really think you can get it in a lot of places. I know there's certain bookshops online you can get it, but I don't even think it's on Amazon, I'm not too sure. I wanna show you my tote bag first. I didn't get this in Hey oh My. I think it's from like a Luma Crate, something like that. I don't know, someone was selling it on Twitter a year ago, and I thought it was really cute. It says, home is behind the wheel ahead. And as you can tell, it is Rivendell and it's Lord of the Rings and I just thought it was super cute. And it's like my go-to bag to take with me for shopping. It's slightly bigger than like the normal size tote bags as well. So I'll show you the first book that I picked up. And these ones were both from the Richard Booth bookshop, which I believe is you would have seen in the clips previously it's the bigger secondhand bookshop in the world i think and it's brilliant in there i love it there's like so much to see there's like every single genre you can think of they sell and there's like a cellar there's like three floors it's it's amazing i picked up kujo and obviously this is stephen king and this is one of the new hoarders that they're releasing so they're releasing all of these up until the anniversary of Carrie and there's like six out at the moment and I have two already that you would have seen in one of my previous videos and the ones I have already are Salem's Lot and The Shining so yep got another one to add to the collection and I really love the spine of this one so far we have how many different colours so we've got two orange ones and a green one so far so yeah i don't think these ones are like the rainbow spines like they are rainbow spined but i don't think that's the intention they split into like sections of stephen king books i don't know whether some are going to be like i don't know how they're going to do it but i think they might all have different fonts i'm not really sure but very happy about that. So I picked this up for 9 99 I know I probably could have picked it up slightly cheaper if I'd got it online. But I really prefer supporting like small businesses. And I think like now more than ever it's really important to buy in person if you can. And to support like your local bookshops. And considering it's hey oh my. And there's a lot less bookshops there than there used to be. I mean there's still plenty of bookshops plenty to see but like two of my favorite bookshops have shut down in the last couple of years and yeah it's just sad to see really i mean you know places like amazon and stuff um, book depository they can be great if you want to book next day but there's nothing better than going into a bookshop especially like when you can smell the old book smell and oh, it's just brilliant like nothing beats it and i always think like when you can shop local it's always best too so yeah i picked that one up for 9.99 and then the next book that i picked up i'm super excited about so this is a hardback and it is oh, can you guess what it is from the cover i mean it is pretty obvious <laughs> so this is mary sherry mary sherry who's that mary shelley having a bit of wine shut up ash it is mary shelley's frankenstein and i love these covers so so much these ones are like the puffin covers as soon as i saw this i was like gotta pick it up i've not seen it in a bookshop before and um, they probably do sell it in bookshops but i've only seen it like online and online bookshops and yeah this was only 9.99 as well so when i saw it for that price i was like i can't not pick it up for that and yeah i think it's such a cool cover i can't wait to take photos for bookstagram they were the two books that i picked up and i mean 
it would have been a crime to have gone to Hillmai and not picked up any books. I was a little bit disappointed because I thought I might be able to pick up some cool editions of maybe like The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings. They did have a really nice Hobbit, but it was £8.50 and I mean I'm on like nine different editions of The Hobbit currently. So I thought spending £8.50 on The Hobbit might have been a little bit over the top was a really nice addition though and I am like low-key gutted that I didn't get it it's hardback as well <sighs> but it's fine it's fine there was Silmarillion 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 there was the Folio Society's version of the Silmarillion I think I'm pronouncing that correctly I can never say it properly I'll pop a photo up and oh my god it was beautiful but it was 65 pound and like my boyfriend was like oh do you want to get it like if you want to get it just get it like treat yourself and i didn't pick it up i maybe i should have but then i was looking online and like that was a really good price like online they tend to be about 70 to like 100 pound but i didn't need it at the time and i thought that's a little bit like excessive to spend on a book just because, even though it is a good price. If there was like the three Folio Society books of The Lord of the Rings, I think I would have picked that up if that was a good price. But I wasn't as fussed on getting the Silmar Silmarillion book. But yeah, so that concludes my little Hail My haul. And we also picked up some fudge as well for the way home and some cola cubes from the traditional fudge shop. It's sort of like a tradition. Every time me and my mum used to go when I was younger, we always used to end up at the fudge shop at the end. And it was just delicious. It was super busy. Like we spent ages going around the car park. Every time we went to pull into space, like another car was coming down and they'd like taken the space. And I was like, oh, frustrating. But yeah, it was just nice to get out of the house, to get back up to Hillmai. It was busy, but it wasn't too busy in some of the shops because obviously they're quite old. I thought, oh, is there going to be lots of queues? But I was pleasantly surprised. And hopefully next year we'll be able to go and the Hillmai Festival will be back on. So keeping my fingers crossed that that can go ahead in person next year. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've been to Hail Mai before. Let me know if you want to visit Hail Mai. Like if you're a book lover and you live in the UK or if you visit in the UK, I would 100% check Hail Mai out. It is so beautiful. Like it's just a cute little village and like who doesn't love a cute village that's full of books i mean there's a castle there as well like there's plenty of like pubs and coffee shops and ice cream shops to visit and yeah it's just lovely thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye <laughs>